Hi, this is Robert Powell, and I have a radar animation uh, that may help you uh, see the radar data that was occurring at the same time as this unknown, or excuse me, uh, uh, was occurring a little bit before this unknown object showed up in northwestern Puerto Rico. Uh, the software for this radar animation, I want to give credit to Russ Tindall, who helped develop that. In order to uh, help understand exactly what you're looking at, it would be good if you get a map of Puerto Rico uh, and look at the northwest coast of Puerto Rico. So you might pause this and get your map. And once, now that you have your map, uh, look at the cities that you see on this radar screen and find them on your map. The cities of Terra Nova, going from east to west, Isabella, Melissa Baja, Orinkin, and Aquadilla. Those run, uh, those are all cities along the coast. So if you drew a line between those cities, you would roughly have an outline of the Puerto Rico coast. And you can, should be able to see that on your map. Also on this, uh, radar animation is a runway. You can see that in the lines, uh, that make a diagonal going from southwest to northeast. That is the runway at the Rafael Hernandez airport. Uh, the other things to look at on this map, at the bottom left, you'll see the actual date and time, and that, that is Zulu hours. So that's 0100 Zulu hours where I've started this animation. And you'll also see a scale for nautical miles. And you see a red a square on your map, and that represents an object that does not have a transponder. It only shows up on primary radar. And those will be always in red boxes. So I'll begin the uh, animation. And this animation is four times faster than it is in real life. In other words, the radar normally scans every 12 seconds. And in this animation, we've sped it up so that you don't have to sit through a lot of this. Okay, you're seeing... Uh, the red unknowns, um, doesn't matter if it says unknown next to the red box with a question mark or if it's just a red box. It's all the same thing. So you can see these unknowns showing up north of the runway. And this goes on for about 12 minutes. They bounce around a lot. And we check for uh, atmospheric weather inversions to see if that potentially could cause what we're seeing, but there were no inversions of the atmosphere on that day. Um, it's not unusual to sometimes see unknowns on radar, and as you look at this, sometimes you'll see them, you just saw one there to the far east that showed up, but they don't continuously show up. Like we have 45 uh, hits almost every time the radar swept. Uh, these that you're looking at north of the runway. So that's unusual to have that. Uh, we also calculated that uh, the, any object uh, to be picked up on radar would have to be at least 800 feet elevation uh, based on its distance from the radar site. Now in a, um, about eight to nine minutes, you will see the, air, the uh, Homeland Security aircraft aircraft take off on radar. Um, now that's eight and a half minutes of real time. For us, it's going about four times quicker, so it will only be about in another two minutes. One thing just to note quickly is you're seeing these unknowns show up uh, to the north and to the west of the runway now. If you look, if you go through this video over and over, what you will see is even though they jump around, there's basically a, a northeast to southwestern movement of the unknowns.
we have the raw data that we obtained uh, through our Freedom of Information request. So if anyone wants that, uh, just let us know and we can send a copy of that uh, to you. All right, in a moment, you're going to see uh, the Homeland Security aircraft take off from the runway. And you won't see it until it reaches about 300 feet altitude. It's closer to the radar than the unknowns you're seeing. That's why it can be picked up sooner and also because it is sending out a secondary uh, transponder signal. That allows it to be picked up quickly. All right, there, and I'm going to track it. Uh, so we're just by tracking, I just mean we're drawing lines uh, of the path of the aircraft. So the number you see at the top, four four zero six, that is the transponder identification number of the aircraft. The number below it, zero two five. That represents its altitude in hundreds of feet, so that would be approximately 2,500 feet. Right, so you can see that the uh, aircraft is doing a circle, circling back to the airport. Now these aircraft are normally used for trying to pick up uh, drug smugglers, uh, other illegal activities along the coast of Puerto Rico. Now, here you see the aircraft coming back over the runway as if he's looking for something. He's not just going his normal route, which is going down the coastline, which he will do in a moment. But So he's done one extra turn around the airport. Now, in just a moment, right about here is where the aircraft turns on its thermal video system. This is when the pilot indicates he sees a pinkish light coming from the northwest which is the same area where we saw those unknowns earlier and now he's uh, beginning a sweep looking for the and he has the object on video now now he's not actually trying to uh, apprehend the unknown object in the air he's just videoing it as he travels south now he's going down on his his normal route of, you know, looking for any unusual activity along the coastline coming in from the ocean, but he's not looking really, uh, it's not his job to look for UFOs. So that's basically the, the end of, of this video, um, and so I hope this helps explain to you the radar information.